there are four conditions for sacrifice because even though we are Christians, God does not enter into covenant with everybody. I don't know, I explained that extensively in the first service. But the first condition for God to enter a covenant with you today, you know, it's like you can enter a covenant and then you're on your own. God did not enter with you. Is it true? So like I read a post of a young lady said that she has been dating this guy for seven months and the guy asked her why she doesn't have a boyfriend on the seventh month. What a shock. <laughs> she has been dating herself all the while. That is the way you, you may think you are in a covenant, but you are totally on your, on your own. God is not in a covenant with you. There are conditions for you to be in covenant with God, and he's in covenant with you. Come on, are we together? The first condition is that what you are sacrificing must be costly. Must be valuable to you. And it must be important. Malachi chapter 1 verse 8. Malachi chapter 1 verse 14. And then Exodus 13 verse 15. Bible spoke about any time you come to sacrifice. You cannot bring something stupid. Like today you will be given a chance to sacrifice. You may not sacrifice something that is not costly. And if you offer the blind for the sacrifice. Blind. That means the animal, the goat was blind. And then you sacrifice that one. Is it not evil? And if you offer the lame and the sick. Is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee? Or accept thy person? Say the Lord of hosts. Verse 14 also. But cause be the deceiver which had in his flock a male and vowed and sacrificed unto the Lord a corrupting. I'm reading Malachi 1.14. But cause be the deceiver, he had a good male and then he vowed and then he sacrificed a bad one. I am a great king, our God, said the Lord of hosts. And my name is dreadful among the hidden. When you want to sacrifice, what you will sacrifice is the phone that the battery has died. <laughs> and then you will leave your tablet. What the, you, are, you are joking. You want to sacrifice and then you know that something to some people, 100 naira can be a sacrifice. And then to some people, 100 naira is not even up to their offering. Hallelujah. But you want to sacrifice your time. A pastor, Bishop Dati, had a Bible school. Some parents, they would take their children, one to medicine school, one to law, one to engineering, and then the one that is addicted to cocaine, they will bring him to Bible school. And say, please, pastor, help us with this one. So all the useful children, they are good to become engineer. And then the one that is addicted and is a thief, say, God, take this one. And that's what many people do. It's true. What is expensive is not for... That is why I can tell you, you will, be on, you will think you have made a sacrifice on your own. God is not aware you are in sacrifice with him. It must cost you something. Now, cost is not in volume. Because somebody can give 10 million naira and it's not costing me anything. And somebody can give 1,000 naira in his level. And then it has cost him something. So, cost is in the value it has on you. There are people that God will demand something from you. For me, my sacrifice for ministry is my pursuit to become an, an, an engineer. I remember pursuing to eat the oil money of this country with our lives. Hallelujah. Studying chemical engineering, do the permutation. I remember I was the first, my parents bought a laptop. They were in the vision together. <laughs> what do you need? Laptop, take. What do you need? I got anything I wanted to succeed as a chemical engineer. Everything. How much is your project? 60,000 naira. Take. They, they are not even arguing. Because we had a vision. <laughs> that was it. So all my teachers, I would be at home and they would be like, Jotam, I just told, told I, I, I just made a teacher some years later, seven years. Ah, Jotam, I just spoke to my children this morning about you. 
Because I was, let's say those days in the secondary school, we are just good, and then people were just, ah, this guy, you cannot waste your life. Then I came to my parents and I said, I have your call to the ministry. What a shock. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey. You're wasting your brain. The brain that God gave me, they forgot. The brain everybody's talking about, the person that gave me that brain or that actually is God. As a matter of a sacrifice, should not be mentioned to God. Because imagine you're in love with somebody and the person says, I'm sacrificing to be in love with you. A bomb country. Not just abomination, just a bomb country. I know. Hallelujah. So it must, so that was my sacrifice. Being in the ministry is a lifetime sacrifice. Then sometimes God can call you to sacrifice money. While we were in our 24 hours vigil last night, last week, sorry, God called for a sacrifice. I just got a shocking alert. Now I didn't have money. I got a shocking alert from somebody working in the oil. And then I told my wife, immediately God said, sacrifice it. Meanwhile, I paid my prophet offering, I paid my dad, I have already calculated it. How to shock my wife with some gift, how to do some dangerous things with the money. It's not small, it's not like 10,000, they are serious. When I sent my wife the text, right in the 20, when I got the message, send that message, please, I'm sacrificing this money. First of all, I have to tell her the money came in and then I'm sacrificing. You know, normally my wife will reply by a message. But that time she did not reply a message. Because <laughs> it was heavy. Because when we message, okay, you can give. Normally she will have said, okay, she, my wife replied message in two seconds when you sent to her. Because of the cost, you are laying it down. No one time I gave an offering, a sacrifice, and as the usher was going, I he's like, it was like, come back. <laughs> like, as he was going, I was following him. My, my heart was following him. I never put it before. You are not giving something costly. I'm telling you. So I was in my heart. I can remember it was a staircase. I was I was following the usher. <laughs> it will cost you something. If it's not costing you something, you are on your own. The person you are claiming to be in covenant with is not God. So like somebody being in love with themselves, thinking they're in love. Number two, it must be honorable. It must be the best of its kind. Leviticus chapter one verse three and First Samuel fifteen verse. 15. What you are giving must be the best in your storehouse. Hallelujah. So that when you are giving out clothes, most people look for the faded one. The white that became brown. Brownish white. And then that's why they give out. Hallelujah. But when you want to sacrifice to God, what you are giving must be one of the best or the best. It must be valuable and it must be honorable. Number three, you must sacrifice at the right place and at the right pattern. In Numbers 24 verse 6, there is a pattern to sacrifice and there is a way to sacrifice. When you don't obey that simple instruction, you may miss out on your sacrifice. Come on, hallelujah. Example, let me use the winner's chapel. When you come to Shiloh sacrifices, they discover that people who come to service and remove their shoe and drop. And remove their, they say, no. Explain from the Bible and say, go and sell it and bring the money. Because it's more, because after a while, the church will just discover things that are packed. Nobody can sell, nobody can buy. So sell it. I remember helping many people to go and sell our phones then, to go and sacrifice. Don't go and drop your iPhone, No. Sell the phone and bring the money. That as simple as that instruction is, violating it and dropping the phone neutralizes your sacrifice. Come on, now we're together. When they say sacrifice, on, let the sacrifice not cross certain day or certain moment. A simple instruction like that. When you exit, you can be on your own. I'm telling you conditions for covenant with God. When God says, wave the offering and you burnt it. That neutralizes that sacrifice. It must be the way God demanded it. Like God asked me to go to full-time ministry. I can decide to be an engineer and be a pastor. Hope you know that. And then be a part-time pastor. But I am just on my own. But what God demands is a full-time work, not a part-time work. 
So it must be the way God wants it. Hallelujah. And the final condition is, it is either you are sacrificing to God, or you are sacrificing to the devil. Exodus 22 verse 20, Deuteronomy 32 verse 17, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 20. And then when you are sacrificing to God, always you sacrifice through a man, or through his body, or through the kingdom, or through his system. Now what is the power of sacrifices? Do we understand the conditions? It must be costly, valuable, and important. It must be honorable of its kind. It must be at the right place and at the right pattern. It must be God or the devil.